Welcome to Certified Lean Game. I'm Tyr. And I'm Rick. And at the minute we're going to be talking about and playing No Man's Sky. What we like about it, what we don't like about it, as well as our general impressions of the game so far and where we think it's going to be going from here. And how many hours we've plugged into it so far. Yeah. How many creatures we've found. And in my particular case, how many creatures I've killed on site. You monster. <laughs> I know. You love it. I named one of my monsters a... Uh, was it a paddle wump? I think I've only named a few, and one of them I think I named Meatbag, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, what else are you doing on the planet surfaces, though? Like, exploring? Cataloguing many, many life forms. Killing many, many life forms. <laughs> See, there's the difference between you and me. I try not to kill anything that's native to the planet. No, I was I was like 360 no scoping deer earlier. <laughs> I, I think the uh, the best part of that really was the fact that the deer only had little legs at the back, so they couldn't exactly run away particularly fast. <laughs> it's kind of you know natural selection. <laughs> natural selection. When a guy comes down from space, gets out of his rocket, 360 no scopes a deer with a mining laser. Yep, natural selection. <laughs> It wasn't a mining laser. It oh. was a plasma grenade. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Plasma grenades. You know, did this? I'm doing this planet a favour. Uh, yeah, cleaning like cleaning out the population. Yeah, just think how strong the remaining ones will be. <laughs> the ones that could run away. You're the ones product. who had enough, you know, armour in their carapaces to, you know, survive a plasma blast. Have any survived a plasma blast? One or two. <laughs> when I run out of energy. So what was your first planet like? Um, what's the nice way of saying it? Hostile as fuck. Everything wanted to kill me. And I didn't really want to kill everything at that point. I what? soon grew out of that. You didn't? Oh yeah, yeah, clearly. <laughs> you know, the environment shapes the person. <laughs> yeah, Blumen does. Like... I grew up on a world that was like a sea of yellow flowers. There were little cute animals there that I made friends with. They like led me to little little mineral deposits when I fed them and they were fun. They made little like mewing noises. The trees were just like colours of autumn and sort of all this browns and beautiful dark reds and everything was swaying gently in like a summer's breeze and it was a gorgeous place and there were no predators there. Everything I came across was just a mild mannered, docile animal. I hate you. <laughs> I said, but you know that moment in Portal, you know, fight, having to fight off the army of Mantis men? I don't think they really did that. I think they just put them all on my planet. <laughs> yeah. Literally every single creature I come into, hostile, trying to eat me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's try for a different one. Okay. Yeah, he's hostile too. I'm beginning to sense a pattern. When I was talking to you, didn't you end up... When... When I was, like, I phoned you halfway through playing you, your first time of it, and weren't you saying, sort of, like, you were being chased by hostile predators when you answered my Skype call, and you proceeded yeah. to, just, like, fall down into some caverns or something? Yeah, uh, I mean, granted, your ones led you to, uh, led you to many riches on the planet. Yep. To be fair, so did mine, just the difference was that I was running away from them. <laughs> they to, chased to you to riches and bounty yeah, exactly. So, I, really, I should thank them. Um, With gunfire. Yeah, but as <laughs> as for the planet itself, like it wasn't just the uh, the creatures that were hostile. You know, every other single YouTuber out there I've seen, you know, started them off on a fairly nice planet, not too bad. Yeah, mine decided to put me with tons of plutonium and radiation. I could. <laughs> I could see how my game was going from there. Oh, guys, the minute you figured out what plutonium's for, though, you must have been all right. You'd be like, hey, actually, um, get the hell out of here. It's actually one of those that I had so much plutonium, I didn't know what to do with it. I'd fill entire inventories full of plutonium, which I probably think... wasn't good for my health anyway, but... I think if the rumours are true about them introducing base building and crafting into this, which would be a cool rumour if it is true, mm. I think it would be... Uh... I think you should um, go collect all that plutonium, go back to that first planet, kill everything on it, and build a giant statue to yourself made out of solid plutonium. 
All out of plutonium in the shape of a giant middle finger. <laughs> but yeah, so then you leave your planet, you've repaired your ship, yeah. you get into space. And I begin making money. Straight away. Pretty much. Because so I know that mm. we were having a conversation as it was happening, um, that you were kind of going through, and you got on a, a little bit before I did. because I did, uh, about a couple I of hours, I had a couple of hours head start. Within 20 minutes, didn't I over, overtake you in the amount of units? I, yeah, I literally, throughout that entire playthrough, the most I like, had was about 300 units. And then you had, what was it? like When I told you I had like 300k, you were like, you're on 1.4 million or something? Yeah. Yeah, uh, granted, hostile planet, but a bountiful one. <laughs> I'm guessing you had a lot of trophies to sell. <laughs> I had a lot of heads on the belt. <laughs> Yeah, so my my little friendly diplomacy way, I had it easy, but I didn't come out of it exactly stinking rich. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't know whether I'm, you know, a big game hunter across the galaxy here, or whether <laughs> I'm literally just trying to represent the predators in this universe. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, no, I got to say, when I did finally break orbit and come out into space, I did enjoy it, like, t I instantly turned the ship around and looked back at the planet that I'd just been on and was just like, all right, I, I am a bit impressed with what this game can do. Considering this is, for all intents and purposes, an indie game, Yeah. I am very, very impressed. So being a, you know, sci-fi nerds that we are, we both kind of uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, shall we say. I know, just the idea of literally going from planet surface to space unbrokenly was is pretty impressive i am noticing the starting to notice repetition but i am also still finding things that i've not seen before like the yeah. planet i was on earlier just had an entire ocean's worth of these little like snake creatures swimming around in the water and i first time i would seen anything remotely like that so it's See, still surprising me here and there and that's what i think this game best represents is the feeling of exploration. I mean, I know that's kind of the whole idea of the game. Yes, Some not, people not may hunting see down and murdering everything you come across. Oh wait, this isn't, you know, <laughs> Big Game Hunter into Galactic Edition. Wow. Sounds like it is when you play it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's definitely... The exploration, it seems obvious, and it was advertised a lot, but exploration is definitely the key theme to this. And oh. I'd go even so far as to say, you're going to get more out of this game... If you can make your own fun, if you can keep yourself preoccupied whilst exploring. It's one of those games that you can just pick up and play when you just want something to chill to. Like it's Minecraft. A... Yeah, very much like Minecraft. Yeah. You know, there isn't the... Well, we say yeah, but there isn't the base building no, there's no in crafting. it at the moment. Well, there's plenty of crafting. Well, all right, there's no... All right. No, shall we say, engaging crafting. Yeah, there's no personal crafting. There, yeah. There's not something that you can say, I built that. You know, one of the big big points for me, I would say, is that um, having got into space and, you know, got to see a few more ships out there, mm. the one thing I was actually a little bit disappointed with is the fact that you can't make your own ships. I genuinely thought you would. I thought the ships would be sort of like the same as the animals. I thought they'd be procedurally generated in chunks. So I'd be able to like customize the wings, the bodies, and so on, and different parts of my ship. But yeah, yeah. that that's not the case. Uh, the ships are literally they're procedurally generated and they are dropped in here and there. But they are, from what I can see, set models. With yeah, which not so uh, much... and the... yeah, and worse than the fact that it's set models, mm. there's not even a particularly great color scheme on them. No, there are a lot of luminous pink ones, I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> luminous pink or luminous green. Which, to be Take fair, in this nebula I'm in now would be considered the perfect camouflage. Yeah. I've noticed as well, uh, amid some of the ships, I am noticing a few, I presume they're nods towards well-known sci-fi vessels. <laughs> like I have seen yeah. one that looks so reminiscent of the Serenity from Firefly. Yeah, right, um, it's got the like the it? arch head, and then it's got jump jets either side of it, and then a big tail, and it's just like, I recognise that silhouette. Yeah, I mean, what was it? It was like so many 
both Star Trek and Star Wars ship references. Um, the... the amount of ships that look like A-wings, yeah. Yeah, the ones that look like the um, X-wings with their wings folded shut. I think that's like the one that's on the box art as well. It, to me, that looks like an X-wing with its like wings closed. Uh, there's another one as well. Like there's one that looks so much like the little fighters from Battlestar Galactica, and there's one that I noticed looked a lot like the. Um, this is a bit of an obscure one, but Cowboy Bebop. It looked like Spike's ship. I can't remember yep. what it's called. But I saw yeah. something, and the fact I, d I think if it wasn't red, I wouldn't have made that connection. But the fact that it was kind of a red color, I was like, that looks like something that I've seen somewhere. Don't look exactly like it. But it, it looks like a miniaturized, lightweight version of it. I think the game as it is now might not be worth the. I think it's fifty quid price tag in the UK, and I think it's fifty dollars as well in like the US and so on. I don't think it's worth that much as it is right now. In its current state, no. I feel like I'm paying for the potential of what this game could become, and well, only time will tell whether it develops into something. It's truly amazing. If it does, great. I'm glad we adapted it early. But... <laughs> yeah, if, if it doesn't develop, I think it is in danger of dying out. If they don't move on it, it will stagnate very, very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's enough motivation for me to reach the centre of the universe. Uh, that's not motivation enough for me just yet. But, like I say, I'm only 17 hours in and you're, like, about the same so there's still plenty more and i'm still coming across things that i've not seen before so it is a bit lazy at times but i can't really fault the game too much no like i say i think all the the criticisms at the minute are central centered around what it's released with um and what the fact it's not lived up to the hype but then the hype was so incredibly well hyped up to begin with that how could it? How could it live up to the hype? Yeah, it's, it's got big shoes to fill. I think the hype train went a bit excessive on it, the marketing went a bit excessive on it, the price tag went a bit excessive on it. And I don't think it's ready for it because it was just a small studio of 14 people trying to make a game that they loved with the themes of themes that were valuable to them. And not necessarily every player. Not every player is going to get the same thrill out of exploring and things like that. Some players are just going to get bored very quickly of the exploration. That won't hold them. That's another thing I would say about the game as well. Have you noticed how it kind of, after a while, it kind of drops all the information off the HUD? And, you know, it, it just becomes like a, just a completely clear screen. Mm. Your, your like mining that. laser goes away. I do like that. I just think it should be on a slight bit more of a timer. Because... Yeah. I've I've been in, you know, <laughs> back to my first planet, been on the run from things, and it's like, oh, the music goes serene, and, you know, the HUD disappears, and you're meant to be in awe and wonder of the world that's around you, and all I'm thinking is, oh, God, there's this fucking mantis coming to eat me. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is look around at the fucking beautiful scenery, which just <laughs> happens to be plutonium everywhere, so... <laughs> <laughs> running for your life and then pausing to admire the view and then being like, the way the irradiated crystals lie softly bouncing off that lake is pretty soon. Oh god, it's biting my legs! From <laughs> this angle I can see a perfect reflection of myself and this mantis forearm sticking out my chest. <laughs> no Man's Sky. It just comes up on the screen above it all. <laughs> Beautiful, deadly, expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So there you have it. That was our opinions on No Man's Sky. Good game. Not Needs a bit of work. Yeah, need, needs a little bit of work. It's not quite there yet, but I think it could be one day. Until next time, where we'll be putting out more discussions on No Man's Sky and interesting things that we've been documenting and finding as we play through. I know it's all procedurally generated, but hey, you've got to create your own fun. Until then, I've been Rick. And I've been Tia. And this has been Certifiably In Game, and we will catch you later. See a universe near you. <laughs> that was a bit of a cheesy one. That'll do. Cheese! <laughs>